Good day everyone, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. Welcome. I hope you guys are having a wonderfully awesome day. Um, this is going to be a part one of two. Uh, this is actually for a client and I kind of wanted to share this first part with you guys. So, and some of some of you may already have do this, but for some of you who don't realize what it takes uh, to actually go into state, or what I call go into state, and to to cast a very strong, powerful spell, uh, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. But even before I started filming this, I took a cleansing bath, and after my cleansing bath, I took my selenite and I started with the tippy top of my head all the way down my shoulders asking for my spirit guides for all protection and any everything and giving me all power all the way down all the way down to the very bottom of my feet and my selenite always stays close by with me uh, but um, one of the first things that I try to do of course I've I've cleansed I've saged my area but the one thing that I don't do, and you guys may do, you may it may make you feel more comfortable doing, but personally, I will sage my area, but what I won't do is use any Florida water or anything like that because um, some of the entities that I know are kicking about uh, all the time here, I actually want them here to help me. So in essence, I don't want to, uh, you know, give them the proverbial boot out the door. Uh, so if they're mulling about, they're welcome to join, they're welcome to work, they're wel welcome to help in any way, shape, or form. So it, that is one of the reasons why I'll sage it a little bit, but that's about as far as I'm going to go. Um, but one of the first things I do is I will take my oil here, the oil that I'm, one of the oils that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be dressing and blessing my candles. Well, today I'm going to be starting the spell. The spell is going to work, on, I'm going to work this spell every single day for at least seven days, longer if I need be, or if the, as I say, the spirit moves me. Um, so I'm going to fast track it with these uh, black candles and then I'm going to move to this orange candle and start working it. Um, I'm going to anoint these candles. I'm going to bless and dress these, these, and these because this is going to be a road opener and a communication. Uh, and there's been a little bit of negativity happening, uh, and I, I, I'm not going to go any further into that, but um, which is why I chose to start with black. And then I'm going to move to uh, the road opener, and I will be working on the communication all throughout. I, I won't be changing these unless these absolutely totally burn down. But I'm going to be burning this, like I said, for seven days until it either burns completely down uh, or, this, like I said, the spirit moves me to go further or stop, but at least a minimum of seven days. Um, so with that, I will just take this, and you. And again, you don't need a, an incredible lot bit of oil on your hands, and especially on your candles, because you don't want them to burn improperly. Because if you uh, do any kind of candle reading, you certainly don't want them to burn improperly. I'm going to hold it and charge it as the best that I can, as quickly as I can today, because I want to get this going. Uh, I want to start in the middle of my candle. and I want to pull it towards me. I consecrate thee as a tool of magic. Blessed be. And I'll turn it over where the bottom is. I charge thee with power in the name of Bast. I charge thee with power in the name of Hecate. So mote it be. 
and I will continue doing each and every single one and I'll get a little bit more oil. You need to rub your hands until you feel some warmth happening and until you can feel when you sit here and you pull your hands apart and close your eyes and visualize a ball of energy. And you should, if you have practiced long enough, you should be able to get to this point. And you'll, I'll take my other candle, I will hold it. I consecrate thee as a tool of magic. Blessed be. And I turn it over. I charge thee with power in the name of Bast. I charge thee with power in the name of Hikate. So mote it be. Do the next one. A little bit more oil. I consecrate thee as a tool of magic. Blessed be. I turn it over. I charge thee with power in the name of Bast. I charge thee with power in the name of Hikate. So mote it be. And again, I will do each individual one. And I have been working, I've already got my herbs put together and that will be in part two. I'll, I'll tell you what I've put together and why, but I have my herbs already put together, but I've been working on my, I, I'm hoping that you guys can see it, um, on my road opener sigil. And I've been, I have a little bit of kyanite here. Uh, this is for healing and for gentle, because I want this work to, to go gently and kindly, and uh, if there's been any hurt feelings or anything like that, definitely, definitely for healing. But again, I will do. I will consecrate and uh, dress and bless all of these candles. And today, of course, you can see probably see maybe a little bit uh, Hecate sigil here. And even though I don't expect her to, you know, come out and perform this work for me. It is nice to know that, in essence, she is within me, and she is here, uh, hopefully taking my hands, charging them, and working through my hands. And I am also, I, I've invited Bast, um, and I've got my, my offerings here. I've got some catnip here, some perfume, and I brought some dates. Uh, I don't know why I put the dates there. You guys already know if, like I said, if the spirit moves me and then I go, you know what? Dates. Yeah, that's probably really good. <laughs> but um, we all know Bast is the patr patron goddess of cats. So of course, this, this spell has nothing to do with cats, but she is associated with pleasurable things. Uh, and she's the feminine form. And so in that essence, um, I'm going to invoke Bast uh, for her to work with me, to work through me, and to basically kind of oversee everything that I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I'm going to be not only using this oil, I'm going to be using, uh, I've put together another oil. <clears throat> Again, excuse me, I will share everything I've used in the next video. I've got some high John oil that I made myself. Um, I've got some salt. I'm going to be using a lot of salt. Uh, I have, now I invited my client to write their own petition in which they did, and I have that petition here. And I have photos here. Again, this is to go with the um, communication spell. I. I always, I'm always open to 
someone writing in addition to what I write because <clears throat> they may say something that I, I, may, I may have no knowledge of. But with that, I, I'm going to invoke Bast and I will stop this and I will start going into meditation and start putting a few things together and uh, we'll go from there. Bast, who is the goddess of the rising, triform goddess, who is woman, catwoman, and feline, I call upon you. I invoke your presence. Please be here with me now. I ask for your protection as you ride with rain. And protection in the night when you move in the darkness like the paws of a cat. Guide me towards the pleasures of life, of all that is feminine, that I may dance and sing of the joys of womanhood as maiden, as mother, and as crone. So mote it be. I hope you guys stay tuned for part two. Merry part. <laughs>